what what do you think that t- takes us so long to for example have that feel for example you said that we have been working on it for so many years now so my point here is that what are the challenges we are facing to like have that like fuel in our hand right now so there are only three pieces right the first piece is uh actually let me let me correct myself i'd say there are five pieces the first piece is proof performance equivalence prove that it is as good as the existing fuel otherwise people's lives will be at stake right but more than people's lives the airline operator will say i will be hit with the liability you're not going to get the liability the engine manufacturer will say that i won't allow the airline to use it if my engine has not been tested with it right so first one is performance the second one is scale can i get enough why should i go through the trouble of testing performance and putting planes at risk or engines at risk if i can't get a million tons a year so where is the supply chain that will give me those carbon atoms for that aviation fuel the third is cost i mean you might be willing to pay a premium all of us paid a premium for mobile telephony in the early days when calls were 16 rupees you know a minute and incoming calls were also 16 rupees a minute today because there's enough scale of operation things have come down same was true with solar just yesterday i was at this absolutely phenomenal lecture by uh, mr shamsaran former uh, indian foreign secretary who was also one of our negotiators for climate change and he pointed out that when solar was started in 2007 the target was to meet grid parity in 2022 but it happened by 2016 because once people saw the benefits they adopted it i think the same will be true here right so the, we've covered three i've covered performance cost scale uh then we have supply chain right which links to scale but it's also about who makes money can i get a farmer to make money can i get a tribal collector to make money can i get a tobacco farmer to give me his tobacco seeds for oil to make jet fuel because tobacco has always been a you know not so popular word but can tobacco be reinvented for jet fuel now so these all take time because you're working with ecosystems with each sub component of the ecosystem i have to go back to the you know in the uh, eyes of the user measured in money relative to the next best alternative for each stakeholder i've got to do that it's a, it's a enormous effort and where are we like currently We're doing fairly well. Like I said, the first plant has been signed. It is getting designed. It will get built by 2025, and 20,000 liters will come out every day from that plant. It's a good number. So, in perspective, a Delhi Bombay flight takes about 3,000 liters. So, 20,000 liters will fly a few pla- few planes a day. The Indian Air Force has committed to using it. Indian Air Force also. Yeah, they've already approved it at 10% blending in their planes. Uh, they've flown an AN-32 at a Republic Day fly past. we've flown a transport aircraft into lay in deep winter to show that the fuel works even in extreme conditions so all of those are good stories but the time for execution is now 